Yes, ladies and gents, that is indeed correct. We are going to be playing Democracy 3 as the USSR. This is a little mod that I threw together in about, uh, in about 15 minutes, really, hence why it's not perfect. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out, all things considered. Yeah, so we're going to be playing as the, uh, as the USSR, and we are going to try and properly turn the country uh, socialist. At the moment, it's not particularly socialist, but, you know, everyone can be persuaded with uh, the use of some secret police and uh, some anti-capitalist measures. Of course, we'll have to see how it goes. We are going to be playing... We are going to be playing as the... I thought I was going to be able to copy and paste that in there. Communist Party of the Soviet Union. There we go. Is that double spacing? That is indeed double spacing. I don't know how that worked out. But there we go. That's what we're going to be doing. We can play against anyone. It doesn't particularly matter who we play against, to be honest. Let's play against uh, the Freedom Party. Sure. Um, we're going to be leaving everything as uh, as default. There's a couple of things that I have changed in uh, in the game, and I will tell you about them as soon as we get into it. Okay, first things first. I've changed the uh, the term time from 20 turns to 80 turns because I really wanted to replicate that whole Soviet Union dictatorship feel. So I've given us all the time in the world, but I'm not particularly worried about getting re-elected. That's not my primary concern. My primary concern is being assassinated. I would rate that as, as a high probability here. Um, let's return to government. Oh my goodness, look at this glorious, the glorious hammer and sickle. Oh, it's fantastic. Welcome to your new job as General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. The lives of all 293 million citizens are now in your hands. Yada yada yada, fantastic. Our GDP is in the gutter. Health is in the gutter. Education is not too bad. Unemployment is terrible. Uh, crime is high and poverty is quite low. That's all fake. In the Soviet Union, everyone has good health. Everyone. There is no crime in the Soviet Union. There is no poverty in the Soviet Union. Education is a lot better than that. Let me tell you, I won't have these lies spread around about the Soviet Union. And GDP, <laughs> GDP, Oof. Only, only filthy capitalists measure happiness by, by money. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, this is it. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what I've changed and uh, and also what about I've, uh, what, I, what else I've added to the game. All of these uh, red markers, by the way, completely fake. None of them are happening. It's completely fake. Anyone who suggests that there are any problems in the Soviet Union is a liar and an agitator. Be warned. Uh, anyway, yes, I've bumped up the debt. I've bumped up the debt. I've also put in the uh, the little ruble symbol. How nice is that? At least I think it's the ruble symbol. I don't know. I just looked it up on Wikipedia. Anyway, yes, we've got 600, 600 billion uh, rubles uh, in debt. We're 600 billion rubles in debt. Um, and the deficit is a touch over 30 billion at the moment. Or sorry, the deficit is a touch over 30 billion at the moment. That's not too, that's not too shabby. Um, yeah, so everyone kind of likes us at the moment. There's not too many people that really dislike us. Capitalists really don't like us. Toll roads, that is a, that is capitalist propaganda. That is going to be abolished very, very soon indeed. Um, if at any time you notice anything that uh, resembles Australia in any in any fashion throughout this uh, throughout this playthrough, that may be because uh, I just copied the country of Australia and then uh, rejigged it for the Soviet Union. So uh, so if you see any references to Australia, or for example, a bunch of names that look distinctly Australian uh, in our cabinet, just ignore that. Okay, just ignore that. Okay, just, just just ignore that. Pretend that they're all called, you know, Vladimir or Dmitri or, you know, something suitably Soviet. Um, anyway, yes, we are going to be trying to hopefully uh, increase the membership of, uh, of socialists in our country. The membership is actually dar looking pretty darn good at the moment. But of course, we need to get, uh, we need to get our country to 100% socialist so that we can just please the socialists. Uh, so we're going to be looking to uh, to bump up all of the things that uh, that increase membership of the uh, socialist voting group, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that'll be uh, that'll be good enough to uh, to swing it to swing it our way. Seventy two percent of the population is what it currently is at. 
Yeah, and a whole bunch of membership uh, modifiers that are negative for the capitalists. We're going to be changing all of this to hopefully really, really give it a big push that it needs in order to get uh, in order to get the socialists over the line. We're also going to try and fix some of these problems. Um, hopefully. Yep. Homelessness. Total. Total disaster. Lots of disaster. Pollution. There is no pollution in the Soviet Union. Uncompetitive economy. There is no economy in the Soviet Union. And also sexism. Uh, yeah, and speaking of, um, I added a whole bunch of uh, different mods. So there's a whole bunch of things that I'm not entirely familiar with, which is exactly the way that I like to play. Look, what is this? A doctor's strike? <laughs> there are no strikes in the Soviet Union. Everyone is happy in the Soviet Union. Uh, so yeah, so that's uh, so that's an issue. Contagious disease? There is no disease in the Soviet Union. Uh, also, also this foreign subversion. That's uh, quite a realistic, uh, quite a realistic thing. Yeah. So, um, so what I've done is I've basically introduced a, a whole bunch of mods. Uh, there are a bunch of mods that will hopefully uh, give us a little bit more of an immersive experience. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly what types of mods uh, I did, but there was one which I think was called Subverting Democracy, which uh, which looks pretty darn good and adds a whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of features, not CCTV cameras, uh, a whole bunch of features that hopefully uh, will allow us to introduce more policies and perhaps make a mockery of democracy, which is exactly what we want to do um, as dictator of the Soviet Union. So, we've got 31 political capital, what should we do? I mean, first things first, we have to, we have to like work to, uh, oh, you see this? This is a whole bunch of monitor large transactions, ideological observation, all this stuff, encryption law, National Palace. I think this is all uh, this is all stuff that's been added. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to turn this place into a police state first. Um, that's absolutely something that we need to do. So um, we got thirty-one political capital. What should we do? Uh, da -da 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 -da. The encryption law. Pretty sure encryption didn't exist at the time of the Soviet Union, or if it did, it was definitely in its early stages. Maybe it did. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. Um, I want to bump up CCTV cameras. Yep. Let's do that. Anti-social behavior. That's only going to cost us nine political capital, so let's do face recognition system. Sure. Um, also, money. Money is not a thing that the uh, that the Soviet Union worries about. Armed police. Let's get that. Uh, let's get that increased as well. That's actually going to have a a bunch of effects that were you know that are actually quite good. Uh, tasers, we want to get tasers. It's only going to cost us three political capital to increase tasers. Fine. Wiretapping. Unfortunately, we cannot do that at the moment. But that's no big deal. The intelligence services, let's get the intelligence services bumped up right to the max as well. Okay, so that's like three out of the... F yeah, sorry, no, four out of the five... Four out of the five policies that we can modify that are actually bumped up right to the max. So that leaves us with two political capital. I still think that over the next couple of turns, we want to just dedicate all of our political capital to uh, to just continually, continually, continually turning this thing into a police state. Um, have I got the police state? Uh, have I? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, that it did not like that. Oh 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 oh, this is not good. This is very not good. Let me see if. Uh, <laughs> ho ho ho! Whoops, a daisy. We might have uh, we might have some issues. We might have some issues if uh, if the game isn't going to play ball and uh, isn't going to enjoy the interaction with the electioneering interface. That might be a little bit of a problem. Should I try again? Should I try? Okay. 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 That that's that's kind of okay. Oh, no. Fundraising. Didn't like fundraising. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Double spacing. Be damned. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this for real this time. A little bit of mod, uh, little bit of mod troubles never, never stopped anyone. So, we should no longer have, uh, yeah, we'll just have this simple interface rather than the more complex interface. So, as I say, let's get this all changed back boom because we need to absolutely turn this into a police state oh wiretapping we can't change but everything else we can't change great okay good job okay i think that's probably what we're um what we're gonna what we're gonna do this turn i don't think we really have any any need for anything else oh credit rating downgraded nonsense absolutely nonsense 
Crime is going down. Crime, we should start to see a very, very steep decline in crime. Um, we do actually need to try and sort our economy. Our economy is not exactly in the gutter at the moment. But it will be in the gutter if things uh, don't shape up. So, what are we going to do to try and raise a little bit more money? Well, I don't know. We want to tax the, the, the filthy capitalists. And so we want to introduce policies that hopefully will... Um, will make them will make them pay it's going to cost me 30 political capital to increase income tax but i think that this is exactly what we're after to be honest yeah let's bump it up to about 120 billion 120 billion rubles 120 billion rubles per quarter it's going to cost me 30 political capital to do this and everyone in a middle income is going to dislike me intensely. But that's okay. It's going to make the socialists like me a little bit. Which is actually all I really care about. Capitalists are going to dislike me a little bit. But that's fine. The good news is, is that by by doing this. By making this change. Right? From 50 up to 120 billion. Uh, let's, actually let's bump it to 125. By, doing, by making this change. Right? We are absolutely going to cover our deficit. And we're going to be able to start paying back our debt. Which means once we've got rid of our debt we're fine. Um, our credit rating has been degraded from AAA to uh, double B. Uh, that is because we started with Australia's credit rating. So uh, that's why. Our interest rate has uh, shot up, actually, uh, remarkably. And therefore, uh, we want to make sure that we can pay down our debt as soon as possible. This is just a temporary measure. It's just a temporary measure. It's just, 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 just a temporary measure. In the real Soviet Union, you don't need to worry about taxes. Because... You pay with your life. Anyway, on to the lighter uh, things. The uncompetitive economy is not in a great place. Um, health is also not in a great place. The state health service. We need to absolutely uh, raise this. We want to make uh, we want to make people happy with us. We want to make people happy with us. We also want to make socialists happy with us. Labor laws. Labor laws. All right. Uh, we are going to absolutely tilt this in favor of. Uh, of the socialists. It's going to exacerbate the doctor strike. Oh, that's not something that I'm super thrilled about, but hey-ho. Um, security effectiveness is adequate. We do want to try and save up a little bit of political capital in order to get wiretapping bumped up. That is definitely what I am keen to do. I also want to just try and introduce... I want to try and, like, introduce a policy, uh, a police state policy every couple of turns. I feel like that's pretty darn good. We also need to get rid of sexism. How do we get rid of sexism? I don't actually know. We also want to increase our military spending. Um, because that actually does wonders for unemployment. Uh, believe it or not. And patriots. Liberals don't like it, but everyone else does. Um, we need nine political capital to do so, so I'm not going to worry about that too, too much. But that's something that we might want to tackle next turn. Um, I'm just sort of thinking that maybe... If we just have a look here. Unemployment. I can never remember what the unemployment... Uh, icon looks like. Unemployment is holding pretty steady at the moment. It's a little bit high because, of course, in the Soviet Union, no one is unemployed. We're all working together for the for the common good. Seize the means of production and all that. Um, so that's what we're going to try and do. Recycling. Everyone recycles in the Soviet Union. We don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, that's good. I feel that that's fine. Um, if we go to tax, we need to try and introduce inheritance tax. That is that is anti-Soviet. An internet tax. Yes, we need to introduce an internet tax. A luxury good tax. No one gets luxury goods in the Soviet Union. Uh, a plastic bag tax. Probably not. That's even too draconian for the Soviet Union. We don't want to. We don't want to do that. Uh, the mansion tax. No one owns a mansion in the Soviet Union, except of course the dictator and all his cronies. I mean, what? Uh, a junk food tax, you don't have junk food in the Soviet Union. We don't even have any food in the Soviet Union, actually. So there's there's no food that's junk food if there's no food. It's just, you know, it follows, follows on from logic. Enterprise investment scheme, not a chance that that's getting introduced. Anyway, let's go to the next turn and see what we've got in store for us. Civil rights protests. Golly gosh, that's uh, not something I was expecting. And... Uh, Tasers, apparently. Tasers. Well, unemployment we're going to be addressing this turn anyway. Crime is continuing to fall very, very rapidly, I would hasten to add. Um, our, ex our income has gone way, 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 way up, which means that next turn we're going to be paying back a significant amount to our um, 
We've got a 27, a 27 billion surplus at the moment, which is pretty darn good, I must say. I feel that we should definitely introduce a, uh, a security policy. Should we have a little look and see what we can, and see what we can implement? Ideological observation. The greatest threats to a burgeoning socialist state are the reactions of the capitalist element. Whilst it's true that not all are engaged in violent act, a philosophy based on greed is inherently disruptive to our society and government. Ho ho ho! This is exactly what we're looking for. Unfortunately, I don't think that we've got enough, uh... I don't think we've got enough political capital to make it... to make it happen. Oh no, we just need three more political capital. Three more political capital. That's a... that's a darn shame. Well, let's try and let's try and introduce it next turn because I want to make sure that we're introducing we're introducing police state policies next turn. We're going to get twenty nine political capital this turn, which means that we can get six. Probably let's try and keep ten political capital. So we basically got twenty two political capital to spend. Uh, well, one I think we should spend or increase our spend on the military. Uh, yeah, I think that would be really really good. So bump it from thirteen up to twenty eight. Um, that will reduce unemployment quite considerably, I would hasten to add. Um, also, science funding. Science funding is a, is a really, really good one to introduce, and it's, it's really, really, it's really, really good. Just increases technology, GDP, etc, etc, etc. You know what, let's, let's bump that off. Let's get a, a, an increase to science funding to start things off. I feel like that's a, a really, really good play. Um, I want to, well, first of all, really, you got to bear this in mind, right? Our expenditure at the moment, debt interest is currently seven billion. We're currently paying seven billion towards debt interest. It is our one, two, three, four, five, six, sixth largest expense. Alcohol abuse also is costing us dearly. I think we should try and introduce some policies that will uh, reduce our alcohol consumption. Alcohol law. Yeah, let's bump that up, actually. Let's bump that up. That's going to, rather than increase it, it's going to have a negative effect. Let's do that. It leaves us with three political capital to spend. Um, is there a chance that we could get the welfare alcohol awareness campaign? That only costs two political capital. That's great. And that is going to be reducing uh, alcohol spending. It's only going to cost us a little bit of money anyway. And that way that we we don't have to change the uh, alcohol tax, um, the alcohol tax laws, which are at the moment... Uh, which are at the moment exacerbating poverty. I'm kind of loath to change it. I could get rid of it, I suppose. But at the same time, that is uh, it's a pretty significant modifier to the alcohol consumption, uh, which is uh, which is which is good. We want to reduce alcohol consumption. You know, we want to do we want to do right by the Soviet Union. Uh, liberals really don't like us, but that's okay. We still got 11 political capital. I feel that's a safe number. And we've got 78 turns until re-election. I mean, re-election is a strong word. Re-election is a very strong word. Um, so the doctors are still on strike. That's not showing any sign of uh, of abating. Unemployment has gone up. Yes, we haven't modified military spending this term, but the reason that I'm kind of loath to do that now, um, as I sort of didn't really go into detail a little bit earlier on, is you got to bear in mind that at the moment, our seventh largest expense is dead interest. Only 4.1%, but, you know, it's still enough to be a concern. The problem is, is that 4.1%, we can effectively spend this on whatever we want to, right? Once we get once we get rid of this, right? Once we get rid of debt interest and alcohol abuse, we're going to be fine. Also, road building, what the heck is this? We need to absolutely cut this. Um, yeah, we need to absolutely get rid of road building. That's uh, 6 billion that we could spend on better stuff. Uh, da 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 yeah, looking good, looking good, looking good. Uh, the other thing that I'm aware about is that we haven't introduced uh, we haven't introduced a policy this turn, but we're going to get ideological observation, which I am super excited about. Uh, ban alcohol ad uh, adverts. Yep, let's do that, and then let's go to the next turn happily, and let's all rejoice. Celebrity endorsement. Yeah, great. I'm hoping that it was Elton John or something, like someone really, really big. Credit rating downgraded again. Really. Even though we're paying back our, we're paying back our, our, our debt is going to go down. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Our GDP is kind of in the gutter and capitalists are about to start hating me. Um, the debt crisis modifier might start. I'm kind of keen that it doesn't start, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, ideological observation. This is great, actually. 
Um, banning homosexuality, riot police, witness protection program, monitor large transactions, intelligence sources are aware of a warning of possible dangers, shadowy Battenberg Group, an international network of wealthy industrialists. Unlike most terrorist groups, the military wing is apolitical agents, which means effort to scrutinize large transactions, prevent the funding of these individuals could be effective. It could also, also harass uh, legitimate businesses. Nice. That's going to be, that's going to really, really help with mitigating the, uh, the, the, the Battenberg group. Really, really excited about that. Okay. Ideological observation. Let's get this implemented. I'm really curious to see what this policy actually does. Um, cool. It only increases socialist membership and really upsets capitalists. Okay, I was under the impression that it would uh, it would do it would do more to to help us, but apparently not. There we go. Let's put that into place. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully we're gonna be fine. Um, hopefully we're gonna be fine. Leaders arrested. Yeah, any opposition leaders arrested. This is exactly what we're after. This is fantastic. I'm loving this. Uh, you know what? For a for a mod that I uh, that I that I just quickly threw together in 15 minutes, I'm pretty darn happy with um, with the way that this is turning out. And the chances of assassination have gone way down ever since uh, ever since we've uh, or ever since we are going to introduce policies that will help us that will help us uh, that will help us repress the Battenberg Group, which I'm very very excited about. 28 political capital in order to do that. I think we'll probably hold off a couple of turns before introducing that. I think next in line, we've got to consider some policies that reduce unemployment, even though I think military um, military spending might just be a, uh, might just be, might just be a little bit expensive for our taste at the moment. We might have a look and see what else we can get. Stem cell research. Yeah, this definitely seems something like the Soviet Union would be doing. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to, we're going to do. A property tax. I mean, we want to be taxing the heck out of everyone who has property, right? Because, I mean, come on. You don't own property in the Soviet Union. Property owns you. Uh, so that's kind of nice. Civil rights protests. This just increases violent crime and traffic congestion. Honestly, that's not terrible. Um, alcohol abuse is actually worse because it costs the country considerably. Ghettos is also pretty annoying. Um, and pretty bad because um, it makes ethnic minorities much more unhappy with us. Percentage of the population, by the way, is 0% for ethnic minorities. Um, oh yeah, Australian demography. Ignore that. Uh, but immigration is also like way down. So that's something to consider. Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, we're going to wrap things up. It's been glorious to have you, comrade. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.